With the 28th pick in the 2013 NFL Draft, the Denver Broncos select Sylvester Williams, defensive tackle, North Carolina. Some take the long road to reach their dreams. For Sylvester Williams, it was a road full of obstacles. Today marks his first Father's Day as an NFL rookie. The biggest thing for me growing up was I wanted to be something great. I didn't know what it was and I didn't know how I was going to do it, but I just knew I wanted to be something great. Williams grew up with three older sisters and a younger brother under the supervision of his father. Just won't take it out. Sylvester Williams Sr. and his aunt, Clarinda Hudson. Williams' mother, Melanie Carter, found herself in and out of drug rehab for most of his childhood. Back then, we was both on drugs. So she decided she wanted to go a different way, and I took the kids. Williams moved from St. Louis to Jefferson City, just in time to start high school. This was just a picture that I got from him. Sylvester Sr. checked into rehab, and things were looking up. At least until his sophomore year at Jefferson City High School. Williams was expelled for missing too many classes. When they kicked me out of school my sophomore year, the principal looked at my face. She told me, she said, I think it's best for you to go and, uh, and get your GED. I said, what you going to do? He said, Daddy, I'm going to finish school. I said, so what you going to do? I said, I've been telling you about the football. I said, just try. Williams made a change. He got back into the classroom right, right and decided to listen to his father just... by giving football a try. Taking the field in high school was one of the first steps Sylvester Williams took to turn his life around. He started off just playing in front of a few thousand people at Atkins Stadium. Little did he know, he would have the chance to play in front of more than 70,000 fans. Williams played only one year of varsity football for the Jefferson City Jays in the fall of 2007, and his high school career was anything but spectacular. Uh, I remember they were very athletic. I mean, from, uh, from the front all the way to the back. Chad Masters was the defensive line coach for Jefferson City that year. He was just real raw. I mean, everything was just raw. He never played before. He comes out, he's bigger than most of the people who were on the field at the time. Um, you know, and he had that, like, like I talked about, that, that base athleticism to him, you know, that, that was just there. Uh, but he just didn't know what to do with it at that point. Williams earned a starting spot for only one game in high school. This is game video from September 21st, 2007. Jefferson City versus the Rockhurst Hawklets. The Jays' defense gave up 55 points that night. He got a job here at Modine Manufacturing, working nights, making car radiator parts for only $400 a week. I had nothing but eight hours to think, and I had eight hours thinking about where my life was going. And as I think about it, I, I didn't see my life going anywhere, so I knew that I had to get up out of there some way. Williams then decided to give football another shot. He was a walk-on at Coffeyville Community College in Kansas. In 2010, he had 52 tackles, two sacks, and five blocked kicks. Sylvester Williams, big time player in the middle. Williams then earned a scholarship to the University of North Carolina. Two years later, he was named first team All ACC. I always have been a big Broncos fan, but. All under the direction of a father. That's why I know they're going to make it. Who loves the game, but not as much as he loves his children. I mean, most fathers usually run out on their kids or, or choose not to raise their kids. My father actually fought to raise us. He fought to keep us in his life, and he done everything he could, you know, to be able to raise us and, and make us have a good life. How did you feel when, uh, when Sylvester's name was called? That's my name. <laughs> That's me. He just, he took that, that road, and what I couldn't get, he got it for me. Williams took the long road to reach his dream, and now the finish line is in sight. Peter Terpstra, KOMU8 Sports, Jefferson City.